Hey, welcome to AntLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we are going to play Warpgate. Warpgate right. Warp is um, a an, uh, kind of area control, action selection, hand management game yep. in space. In space. You can't get away from space. Again. <laughs> uh, designed by um, Artyom Nikiparov and uh, published by Wolf Designia. Okay. Uh, plays two to four players in about 60 to 90 minutes. All right, so let's get you to the table after the break and we'll show you how it plays. Okay, welcome to the table. Here we have Warp Gate set up for two players and it's pretty simple to set up. So what do we do? We have a modular board with these hexes and you're going to need one per player plus one of these entry tiles per player. So I've chosen green, Francis is yellow. Uh, you start with one of your scientist standees, which is actually your only scientist standee, mm -hmm. uh, on your warp gate, and you have three of your ships. We each have a supply of ships and control tokens in our respective colors. We also have a deck of action cards and a deck of combat cards and then we've each chosen a player board. So we're each gonna play a different race. So I'm playing yeah. the Act R Ascendancy, who's, uh, you know, they're all sort of different. Right. And my s sort of special ability is that I can use these concentrate cards as research, and you'll understand that in a bit, mm -hmm. but they're obviously more technologically advanced species. Right. Yeah, and I'm playing as the Nomad Fleets of Earth. Oh. So I like to play as the Earth Race. I see. It's kind of fun. Um, and their benefit is that uh, my turn one actions are actually 2x, and that'll make sense also once we get into the game. Correct. Uh, for the rest of the setup, we've got these, um, these like glory tokens that you earn for winning battles. You've got these um, like commodity tokens you get for creating trade routes. Uh, player one marker is going to start with Francis, and that'll switch every round. Uh, we've got two decks out here. So we have our technology deck where you'll be able to do research mm -hmm. and earn these special cards that give you special bonuses and you'll, you'll put them below your player board. You also have these, uh, they're mission cards and they will give you sort of extra points towards the end of the game, they're like end game goals. Right. Uh, but that's it. So the object of the game, we're each going to start with four cards and we are going to then decide which of these cards we're going to play. Now the cards are sort of unique in that they have um, upper and lower... We start with four or five? Uh, we start with four. Okay. Uh, we're going to have upper and lower sections of the cards that allow us to do one of two different actions. And we'll be alternating and taking turns playing them onto our player boards. And these one, two, three, and four, or in her case, two, two, three, and four X multipliers are going to take the place of the, the X on the card to determine the quantity of that action or mm -hmm. the amount of spaces you can take, the amount of ships you can build, etc. So what is the object of the game? The object of the game is to basically control as much of this board as you possibly can with the hopes of generating trade routes that will link these uh, commodity planets together, um, or winning battles to earn mm -hmm. glory tokens. So we're going to be moving around the map, uh, fighting each other, playing our action cards, building up our fleets, and getting research. So what is going to trigger the end game? The minute any of these stacks, so the technology stack or the, the mission stack, if those run out of cards, we get one more round and the game's over. Uh, if we ever run out of these tokens, these control tokens, the, the, that signifies end game. So there's a couple different ways and we'll, we'll go through um, what the end game. And I think the, the other one was like your fifth. So when you get technologies, you've got room for four of them. The minute you unlock your fifth technology, that signals end game. So that there's a bunch of different ways that's that's going to happen. Uh, each deck has been um, thinned down a bit because the player setup dictates how many cards should be in each, depending on player count. So with that said, I think we are ready to start the warp gate. All right. So you go first. Right, so. All right, so the way this works is we have these cards, as we mentioned before. So they have kind of a top and a bottom, so you can use them for either action. In this case, I'm going to advance. So I'm using this lower text, which says, move one of your fleets to a planet up to X empty spaces away. And this is where the multiplier comes in. So again, because normally we would have on turn one, one X, but because I'm the Nomad Fleets of Earth and we are trying to get out quickly, 
um, mine, my turn one is actually a two. So I can move one of my fleets up to two spaces away. And the way it works on the board here is each of these hexes counts as a space and you only need to traverse the number of empty spaces and once you traverse those spaces you can land on the next thing. Um, so I'm going to move my one fleet, one, two spaces and land on this green planet that has a commodity. Okay, that's it. That's it. So that's my turn. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am one. So I have one space I can traverse. So what I'll do is I'll play this one research. Move one move your scientist to a planet up to one empty space away. So if it matches at least one of the available technology cards, I can claim the technology. So I'm going to go one and then land there and claim the white technology. Nice. Um, so what you do is when there's two cards out there, you just have to match one. You look at the two and you pick which one you want. Interesting. Okay, I'll take this one. So I'll put this one back. And this first technology, Robotics, goes in my first slot. It says, during turn one, you may resolve both actions. Top action first. Mm, very nice. That's pretty good. That's uh, very good bonus. So that's it. All right, cool. Um, so for my second, I will do another one of these. So I'll do some recon. So I'll move one of my ships to a planet up to X spaces away, and that'll be two spaces again I can go. Um, and you'll notice on some of these, the blue ones that allow us to move, they don't allow us to start battles. The red ones do allow us to start battles. So eventually we will we'll start battling too. So I'll go to this planet here. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do some recon on my second turn. So move one of your ships up to two empty spaces away. It may not start a battle. So I can move one of my ships up to two empty spaces away. So I'll go one, two, and then land on the green planet. Okay. That's it. All right, I guess I'll do this reinforce, which says add one ship to your fleet of three or less ships anywhere. So I can take this ship and add it to any fleet. Oh, you take one Wait. from your supply. Oh, from my supply. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. And add it to either of these planets, really. To any of them. Yeah, any, anywhere so you have ships. I'll put you can it do here. It. All right. Uh, I will do redeploy. So move two of your fleets up to two different planets, up to three empty spaces away. So I'll move this fleet here, and I'll move this fleet, and a fleet can be all of your ships, up to three. So it's one, two, and I'll put them there. That's it. Okay. Um, okay, and then for my fourth turn, I'm going to build so I can place up to four ships at my warp gate. That's a lot of yeah, ships. Yeah, so when it says ships, it means the tiny ships. Yep. It means fleet. You can move as many as you want. So for my last action, I'm going to take the top part. Place your control marker on up to four planets with your fleet. Mm. So I've got two planets with my fleet. So you take these tokens and they go, there's a side without an X and there's a side with an X. Well, these are the X's and there's no X on that side. So I think these are going to change. These are just prototypes. So for when you, when you control a planet, you put them around your planet X side facing down because you don't control the sector. Mm -hmm. But now that I do have both planets in control, they will actually be face up. And I've just taken control of this sector, right. which allows me to take a card if any one of the planets in my sector matches the color planets mm -hmm. that are available. So what do I have here? Green and what is that? Is that I, white? I think that's blue because that's like white, right? Yeah, that might be a blue planet. Right? It's kind of hard to tell. It is. <laughs> it's really We've been hard. over this before, but this is like a white That's planet. what, yeah. You this is mean? this is blue then, right? Right. Okay, so I can, again, yeah. look at both of these and decide which one I want to take. So you can look at both because yes. you have... With every card, every time you claim cards, you always, as long as you match one of them, oh, okay. you get to look at all of them and choose say. one. Yep. Uh, I think I've cheated myself out of that before. You have indeed, because you always cheat. Okay, so <laughs> here's, I'm gonna hold on to that. This is gonna go back in the supply, mm -hmm. uh, and that ends it. So yeah. all of our cards come off the board, they go in your discard pile, and then we deal out four more. I take player one. Mm -hmm. We get another card for each stack to make sure they're refreshed. 
And are we ready? Yep. All right, so this is my discard pile. I'm gonna make sure I keep this somewhere. I don't lose track of, okay. So let's go ahead and start the next yep. round. All right, actually, I, I wanna make a slight correction from before. So unlike the technology where you grab both cards and choose one, with the planets, you have to choose only one of the cards. You don't get to look at both, which I did, but I could only take this one anyway, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Cheating. Uh, yeah, cheat a little <laughs> bit. And then it, that that actually gets refreshed immediately. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm first this time, right? Yep. So, all right. I think what I'll do is... Hmm. See, these are tough because you have to uh, you have to decide what you want to do in the one because it's only one. Right. You know what I mean. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll I'll start by researching again and move my scientist, so he gets to go one space away. Mm -hmm. So I'll go over to this gold yeah. planet. Okay. Right, and then because I'm on a gold planet, I actually get to check these two again. Did you get two science? Oh, because you can use your concentrate too, right? Is that what you did before? No, I I, you I have pulled two, both your research. I cards? pulled both of them. Yeah. Wow. Uh. Okay, I'll take tradition. Mm -hmm. When you draw, you may take one card from your discard pile and said, "Oh, so during one, I can actually do the first one, but it's take control of the planet, so I really mm -hmm. don't don't need to do that." All right. All right. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So I will. <clears throat> play this uh, move two of your fleets to two different planets up to two empty spaces away that's redeploy it's redeploy so i will move one fleet of two i can do that right mm -hmm. i think you split yeah and move this fleet of two one two oh come on up here messing with my scientists yes okay Oops, we're done. Uh, hmm. All right, so I'll just do, I'll do reinforce. So I can add one ship to your fleet of two or less ships anywhere. So I will add a fleet to this fleet, a ship to that fleet, which is the reinforce. Mm hmm Hmm, two X empty spaces away in a straight line. Can I fly over that one planet, I guess, right? Yeah, I don't see why not. Where are you trying to fly? Mm, trying, to <laughs> trying to warp. This is a warp gate. It is a warp gate. Yeah, the straight line ones are tricky because there's not too many like actual straight lines. Yeah, so there's a move here. called warp, which goes twice yeah, as far as a do. standard move, but yeah, you have so to go. Whoosh, exactly. Straight. So like I can move my fleet to a planet up to two X, so four empty spaces away in a straight line. Um, and I'll move, like, let's move this fleet. One, two, three, and land there. Yeah, you can do that. Dang. All right, so for my last, I guess I should warp around. Nah, see, you just did warp, right? Mm -hmm. move, so I can move one of my ships to a planet up to one, up to three empty spaces away. So I'll do a skirmish, I okay. think. Now let's me move one of my ships to a planet up to four, up to three empty spaces away, and I can start a battle if I want to. Mm -hmm. So let's show them how combat works. Okay. Right? I'll send this ship here. Okay. And now we fight. 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 All right. So what we do is you go to your combat deck and you draw yes. two cards, and we are each going to pick one of these cards to play. Oh. <laughs> That's kind of dumb. Yeah. All right. And then we place them face down, and okay. the other card gets discarded. Yeah. Into your discard. Okay. All right. I don't want you to see what I'm discarding. I want to see what you're discarding. No. <laughs> All right. And now we reveal. Okay. So the combat strength is in the upper left. Mm -hmm. So it's X2. Right. So we would get. um. So basically at mine, it's the number of ships times that number. Mm -hmm. So my one ship times that is two. So I have a two, two battle strength and you have a one battle strength. Right. So I win the fight. Right. And then we uh, we have to resolve the text. Right. So, so mine actually has resolved this effect first mm -hmm. written on it. So destroy half of the opponent's ships rounded down. Mm -hmm. 
So what do I destroy? One ship. Zero. Why? Because half of my ship is a half, and half rounded down is zero. Because it's only one ship. But your ship is worth two. It's number of ships. Oh. And mine's destroy half of the ships rounded down on both sides. Which yeah, that's, is, the one, that's the other one I had. That's why yeah. I didn't play it. So like, there's no, no, nobody dies in this fight yeah. because of that. So all you end up doing is having to retreat back right. to one of your planets. That's fine. And that just gets discarded. I go to the well. I have two closest planets. I guess I'll put him over here. Yep. Okay. So that's all it is. It's just yeah. Just a, a small comp. Like it's a little it's more a complicated. Little skirmish. A skirmish. It gets better when we get some bigger fleets going. Mm -hmm. uh, but that was it. That's how combat works. Pretty okay. simple. Cool. Maybe we'll do. Color is this planet orange? Orange. Orange planet. All right, we'll do this. Um, so place your control marker on up to X planets with your fleet. So, it's so you can three. do three. So can do three. Yeah. So I'll do this one, and I'm flipping them up to the star side because I have both of these. Planets. You control the sector now. Yeah. Yep. And that allows me to take a card, right? Well, let's see. There's green and there's white, and neither of those are oh, available. Okay. And this one. And that actually controls that sector, too. Right, exactly. So you so can take the gold one. card. Yep. And now that the green comes out, do I get that, too? Well, I guess if you did that first... Oh, I did. Right. <laughs> yeah, you did that first. Okay. And I guess I'm just taking the, I'm taking the card that's the color of my planet. You keep them both. I mean, they're yours. I know. I'm just, I'm pointing out that I didn't yeah. actually choose. You gave me the card. I gave you the card that but just has to match fine. one of the planets in the sector okay. you control. All right. So you while go. you're reading, I'm going to build. So I place up to four ships at my warp gate. So I'm bringing out some fleets. All right. So it's going to get crowded. And your last action? Okay, I will place up to four ships at my warp gate. Wow, that's all my ships. <clears throat> so you've got your all whole my ships. armada. I do. They're out all in out. Space. Out in space. In space. All right, yeah. so you get player one. Mm -hmm. away. I will draw one, two, three, four. I'll shuffle my deck up. Okay. And I'm set. Okay. Alright, you all set? Yeah, I think so. Ooh. Alright, so I'm at first, right? Yes. Are you okay? I need to bring this out. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna research. So Move your scientist to a planet up to eight empty spaces away. Eight Whoa. up to X. I don't know why I was like, eight. wow. <laughs> it's a very powerful like, card. Yeah, when did oh, X become this. eight? I'm gonna move this guy here to this ice white planet. And I'll okay. Take this research. Oh, I can look at both. You can. Oh, interesting. These are very good. I guess I'll do this. Stealth ships. And this goes face down. Face down. In the oh. buffer. Yep. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna play concentrate, which I can use as research, which will allow me to move him one space away to the white planet, which I'll just take. Mm -hmm. This one, battle computers. I mean look at the top card of your combat deck at any moment. I like that. But I do have robotics, so I can do recon as well. So move one of my ships up to one planet, uh, one empty space away. So I will send one of these ships over to the green planet. Okay. All right. Hmm. What are we on to? Mm-hmm. Move one of your ships to a planet up to X empty spaces away. So we'll go like one 
to. Okay. I'll do move one of your. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Move one of your. I'm going to do advance. Yeah, move one of your fleets to a planet up to two empty spaces away. So I'll move this fleet over to this red planet. Okay. And I will move one of my ships to a planet X empty spaces away. I'll go one, two. All right. Um. Move one of your ships to a planet up to three empty spaces away. So I will move him over to this blue. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to play this trade action. Mm -hmm. So you can claim a trade route if there are X, so be four or less empty spaces between any number of your fleets, and at least three of which are orbiting a planet with a commodity. Yeah. So I have... Commodity planet, commodity planet, commodity planet. You have to control them. You, you don't. just have to have ships orbiting. And they have to be within four ways. This is one, two, three. This is obviously one. That's and that's it. really all I need. So I need to take one of these. You get a commodity token. You've done a successful trade. Yes. Okay. That was good. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to finish with the build and build four ships on my warp gate. All right. So I'm bringing all my boys in. Like this blob. <laughs> All right. I'm going heavy on the research. I am. And this comes back to me. I guess that makes sense because you can use your concentrate. Yep. So that's good. Oh, all right. I need to make some big moves this round. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay. All right. And you're player one. I am. So I think... Yikes. I need to make some moves. All right. So I'll do a recon. Move one of my ships up to one planet away. So I'll move one of my ships here. I guess I'll do. Ooh. I guess I'll do control. So place the control marker on two of my planets with a fleet. Mm -hmm. So do that one and do this one. Okay. All right. I'm going to advance. Move one of your fleets. I'm going to send four ships. Mm -hmm up to two spaces away, right? We're on two? Mm-hmm. Well, we're on one. Oh, yeah, you're on two. I'm on Correct. two. Well, that's too far. Yep, that's too far. Um, maybe I'll do this. I'll go I'll take these guys and go one, two, and then hop here. Okay. So that's a so two. You're fight me. Fight. Okay. Take two cards. And let's see what we have. Ooh. What? Hmm. Interesting. I guess I'll do that one. I'll do this one. Okay. All right, mm -hmm. so we flip them. And we determine winner, so I have so a win. strength of six. So I win the battle. And then we do all the text. Right. Cancel the text, but not but not the modifier of the opponent's card. All right, so you cancel that text. And that's yep. just if I lose all lose yeah. this battle, all the ship, ships in my fleet are destroyed. But I didn't, so either way. Uh, you have to move back to your warp gate. Why? Why can't I move there? Or your other planet. Yeah, you can move there. Now, you still have control of the planet. Mm -hmm. I just have orbit. Orbital control. Orbital control. For now. For now. Um. What are we on? Oh, I'm on two, right? Yep.
This is like ridiculous. I know, your blob. <laughs> I'll do this. So I'll move two of my fleets mm -hmm. to two different planets up to X empty spaces away. So I'll move this fleet of two here. One, two. Okay. Right? And then I'll move um, maybe this guy. One, two. Okay. There. I will do control. So I can put a control marker on up to three planets with my fleets. So I will go one control here, so it's not an outpost. Mm -hmm. Well, it is an outpost, it's not a colony. Yeah. And I will put control here, which removes that Oh, is that how that works? Colony, yeah, I have to take over. Oh. And actually, I take control of it now. Yeah. But it's not available. We don't have to battle for that? No, because that we did battle. Okay. Oh, we already battled. You yeah. Me out. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do another trade route mm -hmm. with my same planets. Oh yeah. So it has to be within three, which it is. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get those ships off that planet. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Dang, I got this card. Isn't gonna help me. All right, so all I can do is reinforce. So I guess I'll just take one out of my warp gate. And I can go to somewhere where there's three or less ships. I guess I'll put it here. Nah, that's kind of silly. If I get ships much further out, they could probably use more help. All right, that's it. All right, I'm still going. So, add one ship to your fleet of X or less ships anywhere. But you're saying they can't come off my warp gate? No, I would say you can take them from your warp, because you don't have any more left in your supply, yeah. so I'd say your warp gate makes most sense. Okay. Or from somewhere else, right? I mean... Yeah. Oh yeah, and X and B spaces away. That's four. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll move another one of these guys, maybe. Like, one, two. Wait a minute. No, you just add it to a fleet that has four or less ships. Oh, I just add it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's reinforcing. It just, yeah, it's add one ship to your fleet of X or less. Sh oh, a fleet anywhere. of X or less. Okay. Of four or less anywhere. Yep. Right, right, right. Um, I'll go here. Or maybe I'll go up here. I'll go there instead. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. You are now player one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yikes. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll move one of my fleets to a planet up to X empty spaces away. So I'll move these two guys. One, two, over here. What is happening right now? I'm making a fight. Oh, you're making fight. <laughs> okay. Uh, what? What? I guess I'll do this one. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, you're doing the price of glory. Yeah. Uh, all right, so I win this battle. Okay. You have a strength of two, I have a strength of five, so I win. Mm -hmm. But you attacked, and you did the price of glory, so you get one of those glory tokens. Okay. Uh, for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, my text is, one of your ships is destroyed, so my ship actually blows up. Yeah. So it was a heroic... It was a heroic sacrifice. It was. So he's very strong, but he really didn't... Right. ...stand. That's kind of weird. Well, he kind of went out in a blaze of glory. Like, you won, but then you... Oh, because like if you had more You have one. to actually leave. Do I still have to retreat? Yes, because I won the battle. Okay. So he kind of fended you off. He banged you okay. up enough that you were like, I need to go. All right. I gotta go. I'm sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> do I have to go back here or do I have to go to the closest, closest planet? Closest planet, I'm sorry, yes. That I control, right? That's correct. Okay. And if 
there was not, I mean, if you didn't have any, you'd go back to your warp, yeah. warp gate, but, uh, wow. Yeah, that kind of changed things a bit. I think I'm going to do research. So I'm going to move my scientists up to one planet away. So I'll send them over to this green planet mm -hmm. and, um, I get one of these, right? Yep. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, I'll do terraforming. Terraforming. Okay, so it is now your turn. All right. I will move two of my fleets up to two different planets. Up to two spaces away. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll move these guys over here, and that's one fleet. That's correct. And another fleet, like I'll take this guy maybe. Actually, I'll take both of these guys. Come here, guys. Over here. With my scientist? With your scientist. Alright, so I'm going to warp. I don't like all the science that's happening. Uh, actually, I'm not going to warp. Oh, this is terrible. This is just terrible. Really? Yeah, I've got so many things I want to do and these cards aren't letting me do them. Mm. You know, like it's... Hmm. Up to two. Yeah, you know, it's hard to move your fleets and then, and then attack. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you don't get a lot of attacks with your fleets. I think you can move fleets around pretty quickly, but it's a matter of can you actually attack right. after you move them, and, yeah. and most of the time you can't. So move, I guess I could start moving some fleets out. So move two of your fleets to two different planets up to two empty spaces away. So I'll bring out three of these up here and two of these down here. Okay. I just want them out and about. And I'll do my trade route again. Yeah, see, I can't even get you off of that. I know. Unless I fly in and try to fight you. Mm-hmm. Fight. Fight. All right, so then I'll skirmish, but I can only bring one of my ships in here mm -hmm. to fight. So we're gonna, okay. we're gonna combat again. Guess I can do that. Mm. I guess I can do that. Okay. Yep. So, destroy so. half of your opponent's ships rounded down. Reserve this effect first. So he destroys one of your ships, but you still win the battle. Oh, okay. Because you have a two times multiplier. Right. And if you lose this battle, you destroy a ship in your fleet, but you don't have to. So my guy actually actually has to come back. Okay. And you won it. He just knocked one of your ships out. I have to shuffle now. Yeah, we're out of combat cards. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> okay. All right. And it's my it turn. Is your turn. Guess we're doing that. Um. Well, I'm not going to draw cards. So move one of your ships to a planet up to X empty spaces away. Uh, what ship do I want to move? I can move four, right? Mm-hmm. All right, I guess I'll come over here. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's not going to get me over there, is mm -mm. it? You can get as far as here. Mm, yeah, I guess I can do that. One, two, three, four. I'll just go there. Okay. Hmm. Color is that planet? It's white. What is this? Okay. Um, I guess I'll just place a control marker down here, and that's actually a colony now. But it's a white planet, so I don't get any yeah any mission cards. All right. All right. So cool. that's it. These go to discard. Drop four.
And you're first, right? I'm first player, yeah. Oh, here we go. Finally. <laughs> Finally getting some some action here. Me too. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to do both because of my robotics. So okay. I can actually draw I draw up to X action card. So I get to draw one action card. And I can move one of my fleets up to one planet away and may start a battle. So we're going to go big here. Okay. We're going to move up here. So it's four ships on three ships. Okay. For the control of this commodity planet. I think I have to make that move. Oops. One, two. You're going to play the whole, <laughs> play all, all your cards. cards. Oh, dear. Wow. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's worth it. Mm. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. Oh, so you went big. <laughs> I went big. So... All right, so I lose one ship. Mm hmm And then Oops. one of my ships is destroyed as well. And, and mine have to retreat back to, retreat. to my closest planet, which is this one. Yep. Man, there's like... No, there's like, they're all over this planet. <laughs> they're just circling, <laughs> circling. Yeah, it's like your whole entire armada. I know. All right, so. With like your scientist. <laughs> yeah, he's just chilling. He's a peaceful man. All right, my turn? Yeah. All right, well, I guess I, uh, oh, well, that's kind of crappy. All right, so we'll go, I'll have to do this now. Place control marker on X planets with my fleet. That's two planets. Mm -hmm. And I'll go with this one. That kicks yours off, right? Yep. <clears throat> and that's a blue, so I get this blue one. Oh, what? no, 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 you have to control the sector. Oh, there's that one too. Oh yeah, that's why I have never oh, drawn for this sector. Oh, really? Yeah, I, that was a tough one to go for. Oh crap. Yeah. Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> Gosh, darn it. <laughs> you from Minnesota now? Uh, oh, well, that changes everything. Maybe I don't want to do that. Well, you can do two planets, right? Yeah. So you could, why not grab I mean, that? I could. And I then just... you could take a card for up here. But no, there's no planets. there's no planets that match that color. Yeah, you that stinks. I mean? Wow. So it's kind of a waste. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, you can do that one. Yeah, but no, it's, you can't do that either. it's not the right color. That stinks. So you've got to go for a blue planet or a green. I know. I'm already uh, sitting on a green Yeah, planet. you are. It's like very limiting. It's going to force your hand. Well, can I take that back then? Because that's the only reason I did okay, that. Okay, take it back. All right, you can put your thing back on here. Good. Yeah, like that would have been it for you. Like you would have definitely gotten, but that wasn't the border. It actually yeah. goes out here. Yeah, I've been looking at this. I'm like, damn, that's a tough one to get. It's like three planets. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll do this instead then. We're supposed to be fighting, right? There's a whole lot of fighting. Okay, so we'll do concentrate. So move two of your fleets. From two different planets to the same planet, up to X empty spaces away. No, that's not. May start a battle. Very nice. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So I can move this fleet of like two, mm -hmm. one, two, and like this fleet. Right? Of one. One, two, of one. So it's three on three on this battle. You sure you only want to bring two over? What's that? No, how many do I have? Oh, how do you have? You have three on there? Yeah, I've got three. Oh. You might want to bring more. Oops, I don't have to be your science guy. Well, you have enough spare on that planet. <laughs> I know, but I don't really want to move them. Why? Like, I'd rather not. That's prime real estate right there. What, that guy? No, that. This? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. That's why I want to keep them. That guards the whole hub. I didn't realize you had three on there. I thought you only had two. Mm. I'm gonna look at use my battle computers and look at my top card. I see. Is 
Is that a blue planet? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a blue planet? Yeah, you can recontrol that. Yeah, so why don't I... Why didn't because you I just did my... that. Wait, and what? you can't get it because I own this green planet. Oh, that's right. That's right. Sorry. <laughs> you Sorry. went right back. It's because it's like divided right here, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. You know? I mean, there is a blue planet out here. Yeah, that's as true. Well. But you're also controlling that other one, so. Yeah, you've got a lot of ships on my planets here. I don't like it. On your planet. Okay. One, two, three, four. So I can bring three of these guys over here, mm -hmm. and like this guy. Mm -hmm. We'll do this anyway. We'll you're gonna see. you're gonna fight, huh? Yeah, why not? Wow. Okay. So that's four. Now, because I'm using concentrate, and I have this research thing called stealth ships. Yeah. You can only draw one combat card. Me? Oh wow, that's terrible. I know. Only when you use concentrate. Yes. Okay. That's the only reason why I did it. Okay. I guess I have to use this card then. Mm-hmm. Yep, we both played it. It doesn't count for the defender. Hmm? Like for glory tokens? No, when attacking, claim a glory token unless the opponent also oh, played Oh, unless I play it, then so you don't get it. Oh, so it negates the... Uh, if, if you didn't use that and I was defending with that, I uh -huh. still don't get it. It's only for the attacker. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so I actually negated the glory token. That's yeah. good. That is good for you. Good yeah. for you, but you won Except the battle. you have to retreat. So these guys are going to go one planet away. I'll send them here. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So you really don't lose much for losing a fight. You just get kind of pushed off your planet for the most part. For the most part, It's about yeah. control, but it's about control. So right. it's like, it's all about the area control, right? Right. Your turn. My turn. All right. So I might as well advance as well. So I'm going to advance. Move one of my fleets to a planet up to X empty spaces away. So if I move one of my fleets, I can go up to two empty spaces away. Hmm. Yes. That's quite good. So I'm going to go down here with three ships. Okay. I'll bring two ships. Oh, right. On that one. Okay. All right. I need you to, like, take these so that... <laughs> <laughs> Since all your planets are those and you haven't controlled well, all your planets are belong to me. Destroy. Okay. I guess I could do that one. Okay, we'll do that. All right. Ready? Yep. All right, so, so this effect goes first. So, so you destroy one of my ships. Yep. And I have a strength of two, so I win the fight. Mm -hmm. And then we destroy none of the ships because they're all right. one ship. Okay, so, so mine goes back here. Yep. Okay. That's it. All right. Easy enough. Easy enough. Hmm. That blob. What? That blob of you ships. You like that blob of ships? I don't really. Alright. Uh... Oh, what, am I only on two? Yep. Ugh.
I'm like tired of fighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, then regroup a bit. I don't, I don't have all my cards are combat cards. Do some research. You don't have I don't research? have a research card. Oh, at all? Nope. Wow. I mean, I have one in my deck, but it's not in my hand. Oh. You know what I mean? You don't have a draw card? Nope. Oh, I do, actually. Hmm. I guess I could do that, but... It gives you more options. Yeah. I'll just do this. I guess I will draw. So what, I can draw two mm -hmm. cards? Yeah. Oh, I have to shuffle. Okay. I'm going to play control. Place control mark on up to three planets. How many can I control here? Just two. So I'll take this one, which actually gives me total control of this sector. Wait, how'd you take that? Because I just did control. You don't have any ships there. Oh. You always tell me to take cards and do stuff that's against <laughs> my good Against my your best better judgment. judgment? I need to stop trusting you so much. Uh, <laughs> but you said take one of these cards. I'm going to take one of these cards now. Okay. Isn't that what you wanted me to do? Not really. Oh. Okay, I won't take one of these cards then. Hmm. I'm actually going to take this green one. Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. All right. I guess I'll do control now too. So you actually so take this. I'll take that you arrested that back. You can flip those other green ones over to the non-star side. Uh. Yeah. I, you don't have to control that anymore. What? I don't know if they stay as colonies once they're colonies until you recontrol them. Alright, so I have one, two, three. This is that, this planet, right? So I get to take. Wait, which one did you just control? This one. Yes, yeah, so you actually get this card. There you go. Or the blue card if I want it, right? Which one did right. you get? I got the orange planet. Where's the blue one? There's one right here. No, the planet, you only get the one you. Oh, really? Not like. Uh, yeah, we talked okay. about that. So you've got that? Yep. yep. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just... I'll just reinforce okay. one of my fleets. There. That's it. Okay. And I will research. So I'll move my dude one, two, three here and take one of these. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> I guess I'll do that. So I win all ties. You win all ties. Yep. Wow. Nano computers? Nano computers. So mm. nano composites. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, so I took extra cards, but those all go in the middle. All go to this card. FYI. Yep. I'm first player. You are now player one. I guess I'll redeploy. Move two of your fleets up to two planets away. X empty spaces away, and I can't start battles. So I'll go here. And like here, I guess. Okay. I'm going to perform research. 
and All move right. my dude to this. Is that a white plant? It's white. Okay, he's gonna move here. And I get one of these. Now this is my fifth. Right, so this triggers the end game. Oh, cool. I'll do this. Heavy fighters. Okay. That lets me, when I attack an enemy with a skirmish card, draw one additional combat card. Hmm, nice. So we, um, we finish this round, and then we go one more round. Right. And then game's over. Like a whole other set of turns. Correct. Hmm. Got some big plans here. Yeah? Maybe. some research too. So I'll move my scientist to here. Mm -hmm. and grab this science card. Oh, I already knew what this was. It's <laughs> crap. Well you've got it now. Like what's the benefit in that? I what don't understand. During battle you can choose to play the top card of your deck without looking if at it. If you don't like either of your two cards, you can just say oh, boom. Like so you draw your two cards yeah. and then you can take the next card. Yep. But That's you have to play it, you yeah. know what I mean? Which right, is not right. bad if, not terrible. Yeah. if you really just yeah. have the worst cards. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so I'm going to do Concentrate. Okay. So I'm going to move two fleets up to two spaces away. So I'm going to send one of these guys and two of these guys here. Uh, two different planets though, right? Yep. Oh, I have to send them to two different planets? Move two of your fleets from two different planets yeah, to the same, to the same planet. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. you're concentrating right. all of your stuff on one. All right. So we're going to fight. Right. Two. Uh, wow, okay. Oh, my God. This is terrible. What? Okay, I guess I'll do that. Um... I guess I'll do that. I don't know. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, we did oh, it at the same time. Same <laughs> That's stupid. All right. So if you lose this battle, all ships in your fleet are destroyed. So I have six to your nine. Yes. So I lose. All right. Yeah, they come off the board. I'm These sorry, guys, They come off the board. Oh, they come off the board. Yeah, they have to be, like, rebuilt. Oh. We both have the same card. <laughs> That's funny. That was dumb. Okay. I guess I'll play control. Mm -hmm. And the only one I don't control is that one. Yep. So. Alright. Yeah. And I'm going to play draw. I'm going to draw three cards. One, two, three. Okay, and I will place my ships back at my warp gate. Okay. okay. I'm done with being constructed. They're now Ready built. To work. Okay. Uh huh. That's it. Oh, I'm still going. No, you're not. Yeah. No, you are. You went first. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Cut next me turn, off. Next turn. That's it. Uh, I get. Oh, these are terrible cards. I guess I'll just do. I guess I'll just do control. Just flip this one in to control that. And all of my planets are controlled. Okay, that's it. What's that? I, yeah, I had so many cards and not any that I wanted. Mm. That's unfortunate. It was very. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. Now we're in business. One, two. Set? Yep. 
since you're up, right? Yeah, I wanted to clarify something real quick. So I'd, I'd turn these down. Actually, you keep your colonies until they're wiped out. So you can keep track of whether you've received a planet. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Um, all right, so I'm first, right? Yep. I one, think. two, three, four, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm player one. Sure, what do I want to do first? Do I have anything I can use here? Not really. Again, with the bad cards. Dang it! Oh, man. All right, so I just need to check something real quick. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do I have? I have you, I have you, 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 you. All right. Um, okay, so. Yikes. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, that's not. <laughs> This is so bad. I'm in trouble. I really am. I'm in trouble. Get that blob out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Get them away from me. Nope. Yes, this is not good. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to warp my fleet. Okay. Up to two empty spaces. So I'm going to warp this entire, well, two of my fleet out to here because I have to go in a straight yeah. line. So I'll warp them there. Okay. That's my first move. Oh my goodness. Mm. I don't really want to do any more moves. Really? <laughs> do I have to go? Uh, yeah. Just draw cards and stuff then. I do not have a draw card card. Oh, all right. <laughs> then you can just move ships around then. No, I'm I'm happy with where my ships are. Oh. I maybe I'd like you to move your ships around then. Nah. Just a little bit. I mean I'll just add some ships to some stuff, I guess. Um Like I can add a ship here. Not to reinforce. Yeah. Yep. Uh huh. I need more planet cards because that's how you score. So I'm gonna need to advance. Okay. One of my fleets up to two spaces away here. Oh, that wasn't good. I was trying not to fight you. I have but to. But now you're going to get fought. <laughs> no. On my next turn. No. No, please. <laughs> Don't. I was trying to save you. I've got a delicate balance here. <laughs> I've, I've waited all game for this moment. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do this. All right, I'm going to take the top card of my thing. And just play it? Yeah. Oh. Out. Man liver. What does that say? Outmaneuver. Oh, outmaneuver. <laughs> it's like the weird space text. Out man liver. Uh, cancel the text, but not the modifier of the opponent's card. Okay, so then I just have a strength of two, so I okay. won. Uh, you just have to retreat. Which actually helps you, right? Helps me? Yeah, well, it just moves it you. No, because it would have um, destroyed one of your ships, right? If I lost the battle. Yeah. Okay, so you're there. Yep. And it just moves me back to this To planet? the closest controlled planet. Okay. Yep. Said it wasn't too bad. Okay. My turn? Yep. Oh, man. What? Nah, I just... I don't have the, the cards I need mm. to do what I want to do. Do what you want to do. Mm. Um... Dang. Not how I wanted that to go. Mm. Why? You fought me and I won. I did, but it's like, I, I don't have the card I want. You need control. I do, and I don't yeah. have it. 
I have no control. No control. Absolutely no control <laughs> over what's happening. All right, I'm going to move one of my fleets to a planet this many spaces away. Oh no. Really, you're attacking me? I have to. Why? Because you attacked my planet. Oh, Dragon so what Prince? does that mean? Just because I attacked your planet, what does that mean? Okay, that's fine. Uh, two cards? Yep. I hope I have the best card here. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. No, I don't. This is not good. Why have you done this to me? Why you always betray me? <laughs> <laughs> why, Lisa? Why? <laughs> why you betray me? Okay. Uh, ah, this is not going to go well for me. All right, ready? I'm not ready. No. All right. Oh, you took the big one. I did. All right, so you win. I win. So destroy. So you won the battle, but I destroy half of your ships rounded down. And but then, I won, so my text goes first. Uh, which destroys one of my ships. And then you destroy half the ships rounded down, which is zero. Okay. And then I have Retreat. to fly away. Eek. All right. So that really hurt. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help my next move. Mm. Yeah, that actually messed me up completely. I'm sorry. I wouldn't have had to do it if you didn't attack me first. Yeah, that, <clears throat> that doesn't help me. So these, oh man. Yeah, I, I can't do what I need to do now. I'm sorry. You totally ruined it for me. I guess I'll just build ships. I don't even know. That's really not going to help. Hmm. My turn. Mm -hmm. I will add a ship to my fleet anywhere. Yeah. And I'll, I guess I'll do the same, but it, it's not really really no matter for it. And I'll place my control marker here. Well, you can place many of them, right? No. Well, I can, but I this is the only one I don't control. All right, so that one goes. Oh, maybe I didn't. Well, I needed to do it just in case. I was worried you were going to take control over that planet. Oh, no, I, I don't have control. Yeah, I thought you were going to take control. That's why I needed to take that one. Mm, all right. Well, that's it. Let's do some final scoring. All right. Okay. So, end game scoring. So, after the final round of the game, mm -hmm. we are going to count up our victory points. So, we're going to get three points for each completed mission. So, let's check out our missions and see if we completed them. So, what do you have? I have Control Arctic. At the end of the game, score three VP if you control a colony on an Arctic planet in a sector with two or more planets. And I do, because it's my Arctic planet. You see do. how Arctic it is? It is pretty Arctic. All right. So, that's three. And then control jungle, uh, three VP on a jungle planet, which is right here. It doesn't have to have three or more planets. What? With two, With or, more two or more planets. Right okay. Here. Yep. One, two, so you're good. And volcanic. Do you have the volcanic? Yep, right here. Okay. Um, so that's nine. A colony. If I control a colony? Yeah, there's no colony there. All of these are colonies. There is a colony there. Oh. But there's no colony on that green planet. I thought it was just if you control a planet. No, you have to control colonies. Oh, you're so happy about that. <laughs> so you get one of them, right? That's three. Oh, well that stinks. So I have a jungle colony, so that's three. And I have an ocean colony here, so that's three. So now one victory point for each unlock technology. So I've got four. I have three. And I get two for every one over four, so that's this one's worth two. And one to two victory points. You have glory tokens, right? Yeah. So I have two, four, six, eight. Wow. Total. And you have one to two for each glory and two for each commodity. So that's where you made all your all your points, right? So how many points do I have? So you've got 
three, five, three four, six, five, six, seven, eight, 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 ten, twelve, fourteen. So you have fourteen points. And I've got three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you got okay. me by two. There you go. Yep. So that's why there's the balance, yeah. right? All right, cool. Cool. Let's Stop talk about it. it. All right, there you have it. Warp gate. All right. More space. More space. We've been doing a lot of space. I like conquest. space games though. Yeah, I do Honestly? too. It seems to be kind of like a trend right now. And I'm good with that. A thematic trend. I'm pretty yeah. good with that. All right. Um, so let's talk about this space game or our experience in space here with Warp Gate. Okay. Um, so we'll, let's talk about uh, from like a replayability standpoint, as we always start off with. Yes. All right. So I think there's a couple of good, um, good qualities of the game that actually lend to replayability, mm -hmm. right? So you've got uh, fast play time, right? And I think this one, it, is very it moves very quickly. Yeah. So that's that's a positive thing. It's got a very tight board. Mm -hmm. So it almost forces the player interaction. So that's good. And yes. I think any game with player interaction um, is going to enhance the replayability. Because right. th that's the variable, right? That's that's sort of the, the freshness of a game is when you're playing against other people, you don't quite know right. what, you're, what you're facing. Because again, you're adding, we, you know, we use the two hexes, but you would use more if you were playing with more players. Right. So you're not mm -hmm. just playing on that small board, but you know, when we look at um, these kinds of games, especially area control mm -hmm. for two, yeah. a lot of times the games are lacking in forced interaction. Correct. When forced interaction is the game. Mm -hmm. um, so in this one, you know, I mean, every time we play, I really do feel like that's a part of the game that you can't ignore. No. <laughs> which you, is good. So it's especially good for us. Yeah, you have to fight to in this that. game. Yeah. Like, and, and even though we're not big on direct conflict, yeah. this one's not really punishing, and it's not really, yeah. like, evil. It's manageable. Yeah, yeah, it's manageable. You're not, like, crippling the other player. You're just kind of pushing their ships yeah. around. Um, so it's not so bad in that in that front. Mm -hmm. But I think also the... Um, the planet cards, the mission cards, mm -hmm. the technology cards, they're all different. They're all variable. Well, so. You also have um, your factions that you, you know, that you mm -hmm. kind of play as every time have, and I forget how many come in the in I think the there's four. Minutes. I think there's more than four. Are I think there? there's like six oh. or something. But you can switch them front and back as well. So yeah. there's like millions of, you know, little advantages that you can have in the, in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is kind of cool. So. And they'll kind of sort of set the theme for your play. So right. are you going to well, chase technology? Research, yeah, yeah. So know. I probably should have chased more research because that would have been better points for me, I think. Yeah, but I think you used, you used your I used it quite a bit. Because it's your concentrate that you could use as research. I know, right? and I chose to use it to fight yeah. for that one planet yeah. later That's on. So instead of using it for research. Yeah. but And okay. I didn't really take advantage of some of the, the trade routes because right. they're tough tough to hold in this game. They are, yeah. yeah. That was actually the first game we played that I was actually able to use the trade route. Yeah, multiple times. Multiple times. Yep. So it's good. Um, all right. Let's talk weight, audience. Who's this for? Yeah. I would say this is, personally, I feel like this is, this is almost like a light, lightweight game. It's it's definitely lighter. Yeah, it's yeah. It's lighter. It's a lighter game. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's like a solid medium weight game. No, it's not. It's it's absolutely a lightweight game. Yeah. It, it, not as far as like super light category. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's not... bordering on. It's pressing up against midweight. It's very easy to learn. Um, it's very simplistic mm -hmm. in mechanics, so I don't think this would be hard to teach anybody. You're you're very um, like focused in taking your actions, so there's not, you know, if, if you're somebody who's like typically like very AP prone, mm -hmm. um, this might be a good one. Yeah, because you only have four cards to use. <laughs> Exactly. Um, you know, you can draw a couple more, but you're very, you know, it's like, okay, what's the best order to play these cards? Essentially, is the decision that you're making. Yep. Um, you know, based on what I need to do. So there's, it's thinky, but it's not, you know, overly um, complex. Agreed. To strategize. Agreed. Okay. Um, anything else you want to say on audience? No, this is be anybody who likes like space. anybody who likes space, anybody who likes area control, and anybody who likes cro conflict. Yeah. Definitely. Those are three major points here, and is not into a heavier, big 4X-y type game, because right. that's not what this is. Yeah. Even though there's a lot of X's in this game, there are. it's not, <laughs> not a 4X. Not those X's. No, yeah. not those. Um, so let's talk about theme and components. Now, again, this is a prototype, um, yeah. so we can't judge the components too much, but... Uh, as far as you know, as far as like colors go and identifying, um, you know, what color planets were and things like that, um, I I think it was pretty easy. I mean, the art and stuff was okay. Yeah. The um, I mean, for me, like the text at times was hard just because it has that like space. The the like, font, spa space not the font actual written, not text. the written text. The font. The written text is very clear. Yes. Um, and then there are like the only thing I you know maybe like the criticism that I have in this 
like territory is um, when you're sitting on your planets, you don't always know what color they are because yes. you have like a million ships on yep. like one planet. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you probably couldn't make the planets any bigger, but yeah. Well, what I, anything. as yeah. far as components go, I think you know they're they're the art's nice, mm -hmm. right? I think the art's good. Yeah. I think there's there's a few inconsistencies in the component in the planet coloring. And I think that's mainly due to the fact that this is a prototype. So right, you have exactly. to keep that in mind. Yep. So I, once that gets addressed, that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, but to your point, stacking all these ships on top of the planets covers them. So you really yeah. have trouble seeing the planets for one. For two, I think just stacking a blob of ships in general is kind of tough in, right. in the limited amount of space you have on the board. Right. Yeah. So it kind of gets, uh, I guess, sort of cluttered right. you know, and crowded in that space. So what I would like to see or would like to have seen is you've got like one ship as a fighter, maybe a, a value three ship is a yeah. is a bigger version of that ship. Right. A value five ship is an even bigger, like a battleship or a cruiser. Right. Like you have some different value ships that you can bring in heavier ships, but I guess that would be a little tougher in spreading them back out again. Yeah. Then you're, you're so kind of taking it's it, changing you're the taking game. it to that next level. Which yeah. Is, is very straightforward, very, like we said, very easy to learn, easy to understand. Correct. Maybe like um, a counter then, maybe a say, ship maybe with a, a three on it, so, you know. It, like you do with your meeples and stuff, yep. you know what I mean, resources and things like we'll that. Just make it easier but, for, for real estate on the board. Right. It's, it's really tight. Well, especially when you start getting, you know, if, I mean, we didn't do any huge fights, mm -hmm. but you know, if I bring, you know, three ships and you bring three ships ships you know and i destroy one of your ships like we end up with like ships on the same planet or something right like that could get a little bit well i guess we wouldn't because you you you, you kick somebody off but it's like just moving a whole stack of ships yeah, across the board is kind of a pain yeah. you know but that's a little but, nitpicky stuff yeah um as far as theme goes i think it was really cool I mean, yeah, you it's do cool feel thing. like you're kind of exploring and researching and things like yeah, that. Not so much the know. explore, but more like everybody kind of just warps into these gates into a system that hasn't been touched. Yeah. And we're all going to just corrupt the entire system by yeah. taking it over and, yeah. and monopolizing the trade routes mm -hmm. and just colonizing and recolonizing planets back and right. forth. So um, it's more like this is more like the exploit and exterminate yeah. uh, of the four X's. Yeah. So, because we're not really ex you're, you're not really expanding your empire because more or less you're expanding your your influence of control, which mm -hmm. is which is kind of like just it just it, it's modular, right? Because you're right. moving back and forth. It's not really uh, it's not really stable. So you're not really expanding your empire in any aspect. You're not doing any exploring because all the planets are revealed. They're just there right. for you. you just know? like research. It's all it is. It's the research. But that so I mean you're getting maybe two of the X's. But. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, fun factor. Did you? Have yeah, it's a fun game, and I think it, it because it doesn't overstay its welcome. Yeah, I think I would say the same thing because it's quick and it's yeah. easy to understand. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you I can think get it, through it quickly. That's where it's it, a good it keeps itself out of the midweight mm -hmm. sector, and it, and it really just says, "Hey, this is what I am. I'm an area control hand management game where there's going to be a lot of conflict, and and you have to fight." You have to fight yeah. each other to, to get any points in this game, really. Right. So and to me and to establish the control to a point where you're able to, to maximize the scoring on your missions and all that stuff. So. Right. But yes, it's fun. It's fun if that's what if that's all you want out of your game, uh -huh. right? And you're and you're into the conflict. You're into just the basic area control. And I mean, it's definitely a cool mechanic having to choose between the two actions on your card. I like multiple use yeah. cards. Well, and not just a multiple use. Like usually, we see, you know, resources or text. Yep. This is really choosing between two actions. Two actions. Card, it's which pure is kind of... actions. There's zero yeah. resources in right. this game. Yeah. It's just all about the action. Yeah. So it's all um, about the action. All about the action. So yeah, it's all fun. Right. Um, what would you compare this to? Do you think? Because we're kind of again, we played a lot of space games. Yeah, so like um, my head is games. like swimming in <laughs> space games right now. So, uh, God, I can't. No. Because I can't even, I was saying, I can't really think of one. Because of the weight of this one, I would say this is probably like one of the lighter, mm -hmm. spacey kind of games. Yeah, and we, we don't play, play a ton of don't light ton games. Of, and we don't play a ton of like conflict -y area control. Yeah, so either, for us, a so. lot, this is kind of newer territory for us. Yeah. So, you know, we definitely don't have a lot of experience yeah. in space. So we'd love so, to hear. Yeah, in the comments, if you can help everybody else out, you know. Yeah, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. You of, that'd be great. Um, what about your expectations? This is another one that we, because when we get these Kickstarters, you know, yeah. folks will tell, they're like, okay, well, I've got this game, and like, here's the idea, and here's the, you know, backstory, or whatever, and then we get it, and um, so we kind of, ha we usually have an expectation going in mm -hmm. what it's going to be like. I, I think for me, this one was, um, was lighter than I expected it to be, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 
and I tend not to read too much into what it, exactly a game is, and I try not to watch any a lot of other videos knowing that we're right. going to sort of review a game, only because I don't want to sort of be influenced yeah, you by, the experience by other people's play and, and what they feel about a game. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just look at, on the surface, what the game is thematically and, and what some of the mechanics are, and it seemed something up our alley. Um, but it wasn't what exactly what I expected. I expected it to be more for XE. Yeah, and it was more. It it certainly wasn't. So, right. um, not that it was disappointing. It's just different than what I expected. Right, and I would say probably the same. So, I, or I guess it more or less it kind of met my expectations. Okay. Um, I mean, I would say that um, I had anticipated it being a little more like conflicty, which it, it's conflicty, but it's not like punishing. Not too much. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good and thing. And a lot of times, you know, these you know these types of games are just very heavy, like. Like almost like you were saying, where you have the different ships, and yeah. you know you have to decide what ship to use, and like all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And that's like not up my alley. That's at all. so up my alley. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I'll play it, you know, to, to play something with you. But um, so this was actually, um, you know, kind of I guess like better than I thought it was going to be. Okay. It was lighter, you know. It's good. So it's good, but yeah. Anyway, so pros and cons. What pros and cons. I think uh, a good pro is. Uh, the, the look and the, the modular board. The, I would say replayability. The modular, yeah. the replayability is definitely a pro here. Um, I think the, the, the quick to table, short play time, mm -hmm. and, and lighter weight yeah. uh, are all pros for this game. Yep. For, for what it is, they're pros, absolutely. Um, some cons? Um, well, like, like we said before, I think that uh, real estate on the board yeah. um, is tight, so maybe, you know, kind of how certain things are, uh, you know, like tactilely managed right right um you know could be improved perhaps but um and i'd but like again, to see a little is... more variety in the in the planet missions too right right just yeah. for just controlling a certain planet is cool but i mean maybe like a maybe multi-tiered objectives where it's yeah. like all right hold, control a this. green planet and control then... a green planet and a blue planet right right and have this and have that or yeah. put have three ships on this planet exactly you know like give me yeah. something really tough um, that I'm gonna have to kind of really work for and make sure that I'm getting at the end. Instead of just right. saying, oh, I just need to have a colony on this planet. Right. No, that's kind of easy. I would say um, the the whole aspect of like colonization, I would like, like I would have really liked to see that expanded on a little mm -hmm. bit because to me that part of it is like very superficial. It's like, okay, well you put this thing on there and if somebody else comes on and takes control of it, they just wipe yours off. Right. So it, like, and thematically that doesn't really make any sense to me because it's like, you know, can my colony still stay Day there, or does it get flipped? And you know, like I obviously I don't have control over it, it goes anymore. Goes back to the box. I know it goes back. Mm -hmm. I know how the rules work, yeah. but I'm just saying that superficially, like it's thematically, I think it was kind of superficial. Mm -hmm. So I would have liked to see it expanded upon. Okay. But we also like heavier games. We do. So when we so play that's... some of these lighter ones, we're like, wow, like ooh, it's cool, but it could be really cool. If, like, yeah. If they did we this try to inject our heavy so. rules into a game, and it just yeah, exactly. You know. So you have to take that with kind of yeah. We don't well. the, it, the, don't take them as like real cons. They're just. Yeah. For us. Well, we're, yeah. We're, yeah, if we were to say try to make this what we wanted it to be, we'd turn it into your own. That probably would yeah. be. That's not what the <laughs> designer's intent not is. Designers and not what everybody's going to want. So. Yeah. Uh, so. But there you have it. All right, cool. So, all right. Warp Gates. Warp Gates. So check it out on Kickstarter. If it's up there, we'll, we'll, we'll put the link down below. If it's not, it's coming soon. I uh, yes. hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. And email us if you have any questions or, you know, just want to say hi. Right. webgames at gmail.com. Yep, so uh, see you next time. See ya.